What's up everyone, Scott the Chart Hammer here, doing something a little outside the box, no pun intended. So I stopped by Dick's Sporting Goods on the way home just to replenish some terminal tackle that I've lost over the last couple weeks, and I saw one of these sitting on the shelf, and I was surprised to see one of these sitting on the shelf, so this is from Mystery Tackle Box, this is a tackle subscription company, kind of like Lucky Tackle Box. You guys can probably tell I have a history with. So yeah, usually the idea is it's a subscription box, it's something where you get charged once a month and they send you the box, you know, every month at the start of the month or whenever they send it, and you know, like you hear the people that work with Mystery Tackle Box say, it's like Christmas every month. But I know these things are fun, I know you can get some surprisingly good find to them and some surprisingly good value, so I figured yeah, it'd be worth to get one to do an unboxing and give you guys a completely unbiased opinion if this is worth getting or not. By that I mean I have no affiliation with Mystery Tackle Box, I you know, didn't even have an affiliation with Lucky Tackle Box, I was just a loyal subscriber for a while. So what you're going to get in this video is the opinion of someone who has absolutely no financial incentive to tell you this is good or not. But before we dive into the box, if you guys are new to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down there and the notify bell next to it and click all notifications so you guys are going to be the first to see all the great content that's going to come from this channel. Yep, you saw me. There you go guys. That's it. There you go, guys. That's unreal! Oh, this is such an awesome looking fish. Oh, yeah! Alright, guys, check that out. So I'm wondering what's going to be in this because normally the subscription cost for things like this is around like 15 bucks a month and this was 20 bucks shelf price. But like I said at the start of this video, I know with these subscription boxes, you actually get a surprisingly good deal out of them. So you guys can tell I have absolutely not opened this box yet to look into it to get an idea of what to talk about. So this is as fresh as can be. Oh, okay, so this is just, just like... So this is just like a on-the-shelf shell. So yeah, that's what Mystery Tackle Box normally looks like when you get it in the mail. What do we got going on in here? Alright, so you guys get the sort of like measuring thing inside there for measuring your fish and it looks like they're doing some sort of competition. Cool. MTB sticker. Looks like a little booklet of tips and tricks probably with the baits that come in this box. Oh, I guess just some general tips and tricks. You guys probably can't even see that, but general tips and tricks about some of the tackle, how to fish it. It's like something about fishing rods. Well, MTB card here that just shows what's inside the box. Well, first thing I'm going to pull out here is some Stickies 3 aught EWG hooks. Now, I mean, it's terminal tackle. It's always welcome. So you get three hooks, and these things actually have a pretty heavy gauge, so these are probably some heavier hooks. Don't need to talk much about that. Terminal tackle, it's always welcome, always useful. Well, this is sweet. So this is the now officially the first hard bait from Guggen Baits I own. It's the Guggen Bait Scout. It's their jerk bait. Does it say if this one is a floating or suspending? It's a suspending jerk bait. So for the size, it being a three hook jerk bait, that is actually really welcome because I mean, that's way more of a chance to hook up a fish. Pretty subtle rattle too. So it's got this basic shad color pattern so that like really teal blue on top white belly. So I've seen these things on the shelves. These things usually go for about $9. So I mean already a pretty good chunk in the cost of the box itself. There's a point that way and the box is right there. Ooh, I like this color pattern. So this is a half ounce spinner bait from Carl's Bait and Tackle. I think that's the I think that's the company that owns Mystery Tackle Box. So we got the willow blades on here. We got the one gold blade, the one silver blade, and sort of a black and white speckle with a little bit of orange in that skirt and then pink on the head. That's actually a really good rainbow trout color imitation there. And around here, I mean, I live in the Willamette Valley here in Oregon. That is a great color to throw around for bass. And around here, bass are eating the trout. Okay, good. It's got the good swivel for the spinner. That thing is going to easily start spinning on its own. Well, I mean, the first two things I pulled out of here, I'm already satisfied. It's in from Big Bite Baits, a company whose plastics I've been using for a really long time. I love their plastics. Looks like sort of a, uh, almost like a drop shot fluke bait hybrid here. Again, sort of a basic shad color, that teal blue on the top, white belly. But with these silver and blue flakes in here, I mean, around here, Rivers, smallmouth fishing, that's what I'm going to use this for. And there's five that come in the package there. That's handy and going to be useful. Well, this is new to me. I've never seen these before. So this is from a company called Thousand Fish. It's a sawcraw. Just looks like a, uh, 
It's like a crawfish plastic. Comes with its own plastic container that's always good. It helps maintain the shape of the lure. So it's got a little bit of a shrimp scent to it, kind of like a Kitek, and woo. So this is a green pumpkin color. If you guys can see, sort of on the end of those pinchers, it has those flanges, sort of like uh, Strike King Rage Tails or the Guggen Base, what they use. And what that does is when you separate these pinchers, when you separate the claws like that, on a fall, those, those appendages are just going to kick like crazy on their own. Pretty soft plastic too, so okay, one thing I'm going to tell you I already like about this compared to some of the other craw plastics I've used is the way that body is segmented there. I mean, it's, it's going to be a lot easier to sort of trim this down if I want to use a smaller presentation on this craw, if I'm going to use it like a jig trailer, or, I mean, all the way down to just that part if I want to use it like a, like a chunk trailer. You know, bass fishing's picking up in my area, so that's something I'm definitely going to put to use. So I don't know how much these things usually go for. I know these, these packs usually only go for like two bucks. So what I'm seeing that came with it, it probably broke even with the price of the box, which, I mean, it's okay with the stuff you got. I think my personal favorite might be that spinner bait that came with it because of that almost rainbow trout color pattern. So there were other boxes on the shelves that had different numbers. The one I got was box 15. So, I mean, if you guys want to, you know, see what's inside that box, you guys got to peek. All right, so is the value there? Kind of. You know, there wasn't really anything in the box that made me just go like, oh, yes, I got one of these. But at the same time, there's nothing really in the box that I don't think I can use. I can definitely find a use for all these things bass fishing, especially in my area. And probably the silent gem is the big bite baits plastics there. I can't wait to throw these around for small mouth. So yeah, that's basically all I wanted to do is sort of give you guys an unbiased opinion. You know, I have no financial incentive to say, hey, this box is awesome, go get it today. But I wanna know what you guys thought down in the comments below. If you guys wanna see me do more videos like this, go ahead and let me know down below in the comments. And again, if you guys haven't already, please hit that subscribe button down there and the notify bell next to it and click all notifications so you guys won't miss a video. Other than that, thank you guys so much for watching. As always, tips up, tight lines, and have fun fishing.